Cancer, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I have stopped putting dates on these because everybody's, everybody's making comments on videos that I did four months ago. So from now on, it's just going to show up when it's supposed to show up to you. Now, um, that does, but however that I do still make a cancer video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please do click subscribe and ring that subscription and ring that notification bell so that you know as soon as I upload and you'll be able to see your videos when they're brand new. Um, there's always an extended video. Um, it articulates this energy reading that we do, I do. So the, I'm going to do a tarot card. I'm going to do an oracle card reading here that is an energy reading. It is not a horoscope. It is Cancerian energy. So you can be Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, but you could also be Cancer Mercury, Mars, Venus. You can apply these energies to wherever Cancer influences your natal chart for the next week or so from whenever you see it. These energies are going to be lingering around you. So just know that. And then there's an extended video, which includes a tarot card reading, traditional tarot, so I can really dig in and articulate, go into detail and get really personal. And that includes a romance reading as well. That link is always in the description box below and in the comments. So Cancers, let's just get going. I want to get Cancerian energy, Cancer energy, Cancer energy, Cancer energy, Cancer energy. Um, I felt relieved. I'm a Cancer sun and moon, as well as a Cancer Jupiter. Um, my Midhaven's in Cancer as well. So I have heavy Cancer in my chart. <laughs> um, um, and I felt extremely kind of relaxed today. In fact, it was hard for me to motivate myself to do anything, and yet I didn't feel lazy. It probably could have been because where I am on the east coast of the U.S., there's just been a really beautiful weather front, and it's like finally it feels like springtime is coming. So after the long winter here that's been kind of weird, it's always nice to feel those warm days. And, you know, you just kind of have to go with the flow and trust nature. But I think the really pervasive kind of uh, prevailing energy was calm, was relaxation, was happiness. And I've seen the dove <laughs> spirit card twice now. I wonder if it will come out in this reading. Let's see. I'm going to shuffle the cards and see what the cards have to tell us. But there's a few things that I've been seeing. Um, cancer, cancer, cancer. Crowning your energy is tend to the little things. So there's something that's gotten out of hand because in other words, uh, or <laughs> you're exterminating, yeah. exterminate. You remember? Anyway, that's a Doctor Who reference. If you know it, you love it. Um, so this is a card that tells me you're crowning your energy is there's a lot of little things that have been building up and they've just spilled over and gotten out of hand. Now this could very well be, um, things that you put away. It's usually things that you, you, it, it could actually literally be things, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be emotions. It could be actual things. And this is a perfect time for spring cleaning stuff that's been building up around your house. It just has to go. So if you feel like you have gotten that sense of, I need to clean, I, I need to, maybe you're nesting or maybe you're just spring cleaning. You're just one want, wanting to clean out the old this is a really wonderful time to do that. Now, there could be a lot of benefits in doing that in finding things that you had lost or thought you lost and finding sort of hidden treasure in, in just the, the, the piles that you haven't gone through for years. But this is definitely needing to clean things out immediately because it's an overflow of little things. It's an overflow of the, that feeling of... Um, a, a lot of cluttery stuff, but not important stuff. And that's what I want to really bring your attention to, Cancers, is there's a lot of little things that are building up, but there's no big things. And there's an absence here. There's a lack of substance. Um, yeah, substance that, that makes you feel full. And you could be eating too much or filling yourself up with a lot of sweets or things that make you feel energized that don't really give your body energy. There's a sense of little stuff, building, building, but it's superfluous stuff. It's, it's stuff, but it's not nutrition, you know, and that can be actually literal cancerians, or it could be figurative or even esoteric in that 
Um, you have a lot of interest. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of things, a lot of uh, pots that you've put different things into, but not a full commitment or a full focus on any one of them. And now it could be stressing you out and bubbling over and building too much because there's a lot of, there's, it's almost like you've diversified too much. That kind of mentality. Now we have two other cards that want to come out. Um, time to heal with this beautiful energy. This is Kundalini energy. So this is passion. There's some sort of sexual energy that needs to be healed here. Um, in other words, this could have to be with too many, like, um, you know, too many frivolous lovers, too many, um, you know, too many shallow encounters, maybe even a little bit of promiscuity, um, and not enough depth, not enough soul, not enough connection that sort of enwraps all of you. This energy is the energy of, of uh, digging deep into your root chakra to root yourself and focus yourself and allow that passion to explode from your roots and consume you instead of uh, like in other words, being completely and totally present in one purpose, as opposed to being having your attention divided in every which way or having little bits of yourself scattered all over the place. Um, but this definitely also feels like you could be dealing, you could be this, or you could be dealing with a lover that has too many that has their hands in too many pots. This is um, a sense of even not even not even necessarily just sex, but I, I'm not afraid to talk about sex. I'm just afraid about, you know, if Google's going to like, you know, flag my video because, uh oh, I said the S word. You know what I'm, do you know what I'm saying? Because they do stuff like that and it's really obnoxious. Um, but it's, it's this energy of, um, it, you know, it's like a, a lot, like finding a lot of it maybe eroticism or hormones or arousal, but not finding depth. You know, um, and here we go. Reclaim your power, giving yourself away, maybe even sexually giving yourself away too much, being used, not getting enough, getting a little bit, giving a lot, giving a little, gi getting a little, but giving a lot or, um, God, um, yeah, it's almost like misused sensuality. If that makes any sense to you, now this could be you or it could be somebody in your life. Just misused sensuality, misplaced sensuality that's actually draining your energy and draining your focus as opposed to you utilizing that beautiful strength and strong energy to further yourself. It's sort of being wasted on everybody else. That's what this that's why Kundalini energy is so powerful and it can be so some people consider it a demon. Um but demon just means spirit um in 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 um in, like spiritual terms, right? But it could be it, it's it's sometimes it's considered e on the evil side. It's not evil. It's just so much power, it's so much energy and this is like you have to reclaim it. You have to get it back used for yourself because it's been scattered in so many directions. Maybe it's because you've been putting your out, yourself out there in too many different directions and you're starting to feel worn and it's it's polluting you it's like it's like there's a there's a pollute polluting sense it's like you know you know too many too many hands in your pot or too many hands in your spring it's starting to muddy your waters um and now you're reclaiming your power you're you're harnessing it in <laughs> sometimes i think of this as like you know, ever seen, seen that movie bull durham the bull the bull durham um um uh the Bull Durham theory of how, uh, remember how, um, the hell is his name? I know it's Susan Sarin and Kevin Cosner. Why am I forgetting? I, I have his name in my head. Uh, stupid. But the, the pitcher, Nuke, right? Nuke Lelouch. He refused to have sex with Susan Sarandon's character. He refused to have sex because he's like, I'm on a winning streak. I, I'm not, I, I, I can't waste that energy. That, as silly as it sounds, Tim Robbins. Like, how did I forget that name? Anyway, um, that's a beautiful, that's actually as comical as it is and silly as it is, that's actually a wonderful um, example of kundalini energy because kundalini energy is that root, that chakra, that, that, that energy from deep down inside you, that fire. It's like a snake that coils and could sort of explode through you. And if you use it correctly, it'll put you on a winning streak.
But if you waste it away and drip it away, it can get you into a lot of trouble. And there seems that it's been dripping away and maybe getting you into a lot of trouble. And this is reclaim your power, hold on to it, harness it, coil it, and let it explode when you want it to for your winning streak. That's the kind of energy we're talking about here, Cancerians. Damn, all right. I hear you, Cancer. I hear you. Ooh, something protective. Oh, what? Come on, man. Jesus. All right. Cancer, <laughs> you kind of did a silly thing. All over the place. All right. Okay, let's go. Uh, transformation is beautiful. A sense of being stuck, a sense of being held up, a sense of being trapped in the cocoon or not necessarily trapped being in the cocoon right now, developing into something. In other words, keep it to yourself. Don't release it yet. All right. Um, or <laughs> for some of you, it could be that you've kept it to yourself too long and you feel like, let me out, let me out. You know, you're kind of just ready to burst and explode out. And in that way, you've actually been misusing that energy because you have not been in any way, shape, you've almost been wasting it by, by letting it rot instead of biting into the succulent fruit that it is. Um, then we have the central energy. Be generous of spirit. This is a beautiful energy to have at the center of your reading. Why, Cancerians? Because it's Leo energy and it talks about that sense of self, but it also talks about the heart chakra. So it talks about love yourself, believe in who you are, not only believe in who you are and love yourself, but really like, like, like yourself. Like, it's like, see the good in who you are and what you have to contribute to the world. You are looking forward here. You're looking to a future. He's looking at a very bright, beautiful future. Leo always does. He has that sort of confidence. So there is a courage here and there is a sense of focus that I really feel like you're reining in. You know, you know that things have gotten out of hand and maybe these little tidbits that are irritating you, this buildup is going to help focus you eventually when you grab it. You, in other words, having to confront it is going to help you focus the energy to wrangle up all, get rid of all the stuff you don't need, wrangle up all the energy and then use it for yourself. But this is definitely liking yourself as well as loving yourself and having a beautiful energy ahead of you, a beautiful future ahead of you. Know your worth, skunk spirit. Um, like um, this is a sense of, um, well, in a way, like this card usually is trying to hide the stink. Mm, I'm trying to cover it up in perfume. Um, so there is something that has been, a, there is a little bit of a, there's a sense of denial, a self-denial, a sense of not recognizing or having gone a long time without having recognized that there was a stinker in your garden. Uh, this and that are true. It could be somebody who's extremely manipulative, uh, somebody who always plays the, but what if it was this way? Or what if it was that way? And they, oh, they're very good at, they're so good at getting you to see or, or about telling both sides of the story that they actually muddy morality in general, which is why they've been able to hide and the, the stinker's been able to hide in the garden for so long. Uh, see the big picture. So you're being called to ask, no, get like, stop listening to that snake the snake, the poison in your ear, stop listening to it and see the big picture, be grounded and look and see in the future, see, see far out, like what's coming. This is a Taurus energy. It's a very nurturing, healing, peaceful and loving energy. It's an unconditionally loving energy. Um, and it looks beyond even just the sense of self. It looks above things to see it's almost like you need to remove yourself from the situation to see it objectively because you're not able to see things objectively anymore you've gotten a little bit too lost in that muddied morality um okay co-create with spirit spirit is still trying to get through to you and it's also telling me one plus seven there's something that's destined here the time is now so if you're if you're feeling that shift and that change of energies and sort of this awakening of wow i've been really wasting myself that's because the timing is perfect this is the cosmos coming in and saying um well now we're locking you into position cancerians 
and let it shine. Uh, scorpionic energy. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, somebody noticing you, somebody paying attention to you, finding your voice, being able to say what you need to say and be able to articulate what you think and what you feel into words, sharing yourself through communications and also rising up out of the ashes. So it could very well be um, um, just coming out of the forest. Four plus six is 10. So something is coming to a conclusion. It's finishing. So what that tells me is even though um, you may be cocooning right now, your grounding energy, this is, this is grounding energy. So this is an all in preparation for what you are to become and what you are to become is inevitable. It's been fated. There's fate and free will working harmonious, harmoniously in our lives every day, Cancerians. And this is the fate part of it. So spirit has definitely um, positioned you to be ready to be in that cocoon right now and to be basically having to get your SHIT together right now. Why? Because it's preparing you to launch. Um, what uh, the abundant universe will provide. There you go. Once again, we have a, the energy of 10, something coming to a head, something coming to a conclusion, something being brought to your attention, something that was hidden. I think hidden abundance. Let's put it that way. Hidden abundance, Cancerian. Mm, take time out. Mama bear energy, defensive energy, uh, willing to rip at somebody's throat energy. But this is the universe sort of like, um, um, this is um, also shamanic energy. So it's healing. It's time to heal. It's time to defend yourself. It's time to protect yourself. Know that you're not alone and that you are being protected. Um, maybe you are the one protecting your abundance or standing up for, uh, or I feel like this is an energy though, that somebody stood up for you and protected you. Cause now it says the miracles are endless. This is once again, also Taurus energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus or, um, um, as we go into what's shifting into Taurus, hold on. Um, Mercury is entering Aquarius and Venus is entering Taurus. Well, that adds some intrigue, doesn't it? Um, okay, this is interesting. There's, there's a shift here. <laughs> there's a shift to somebody who is very protective and very defensive and very eternal and maternally loving coming into your life to help you and protect you and uh, make you feel like make, make, make you feel centered or make you feel grounded. Mmm. Mmm. Let me um flip the camera angle so that you can see the cards. Hold on. And there we are. All of this energy is grounding you. But I also I almost feel like it's like this. Because there was hidden abundance. There's hidden abundance for you that has been held back, Cancerians, by divine timing. Somebody has defended you, defended your rights, defended your value, defended, um, defended your right to this abundance. Meanwhile, you've been feeling a little bit scattered, right? A little bit, um, like, yeah, a little bit, um, like once again, uh, giving too much of yourself away right? Falling into bits and pieces and putting too many bits and pieces into too many different pots. It could have something to do with sensuality as well as dealing with a player who kind of manipulates and confuses you, or this could just be your mentality of being manipulated and confused. And, and, and there's a stink coming out because this is energy of five plus four equals nine. And two is an energy of imbalance, right? So having to put things back into balance. Think of the two of swords. Think of the two of wands. Think of the two of pentacles. All, all, all stuck between delivering, trying, trying to balance things because three is actually that balanced number. And it's because it's got that X. Think of the, the, think of, um, the scale, right? The scale is not just the two platforms. It's that center perch that they balance on, right? So there's actually three elements there that are of importance. So three is a balanced number and two is something still wobbling and trying to find itself. So this is an energy of, um, 
not being as secure, well, first of all, not being as secure or feeling as secure about yourself as you need to, but it's also that, like I said, that hidden stinker, some sort of stink, some sort of ugly, some sort of rotting being brought to the surface that has been sort of like hanging in limbo for way too long because it's disguised itself really well. It's like, it's like, it's like that, 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 that garbage stink that's been hidden by a really great air freshener for quite some time. So you've been able to ignore it, but now you can't ignore it anymore. You, you've allowed yourself to be objective or there's an intervening energy coming in to enable you to see how you've been unbalanced and how to get back on balance. This is definitely a sense of, um, how, I don't know, how this plays out in your life, that's going to be really interesting, Cancerians, because there's so many different scenarios that this can be applied to, um, which is what happens in a general energy reading. What I'm going to do is articulate this over in the extended and see what details we can extrapolate from this. This is being defended by somebody. Somebody big, somebody bulky, somebody bad, somebody fierce and ferocious coming in to basically protect your resources. Because I'm, I'm wondering, is this cow here to attack? But I don't, is this bear here to attack? But no, because this is really mama bear energy. So it could be you finally getting a handle and getting grounded and finally getting a handle on everything that was scattered and being able to centralize your resources in a place where you can protect them and make sure that this stinkiness or the stinker or the stinker that you're dealing with doesn't have access to them. Let me carry you over to the extended. That link is in the comment section as well as the description box below. And we're also going to do the romance reading over there too. Cancerians, I'll see you over there.